Hi everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental L Tutoring. Now this is a patient um, edition file. So this is for patients who might be looking on YouTube on certain dental topics, but this is also for dental hygiene and dental assisting students who want to know more. You might be a new um, dental hygienist, a new dental assistant who wants to learn as much as possible. Um, perhaps you're not completely comfortable with everything dental related yet, and you want some quick videos to kind of refresh your knowledge, that is totally okay. But um, let me first say that if you guys have any comments, any questions after watching this, please let me know because I do check my YouTube comments about once a day. So I will answer you back. Um, and for those of you who have not seen me before, hello again. My name is Andrea Tarowski. I have been a dental hygiene and dental assisting um, tutor for about 13 years now. So I actually tutor students online. So I tutor students all over the world um, internationally and I've been doing that for about 13 years. I help students who want to prepare for uh, the national board exam and I, and I also help students tutor who are still in school. So I do a little bit of everything. I've been in the dental profession for 13 years. I started off as a dental assistant. I was a dental assistant, a dental receptionist first, and then I became a dental hygienist after that. Um, and then I became a restorative hygienist. I've been a restorative hygienist now for about three years. So I've done a little bit of everything and I love it. But most of all, I just love talking to people about any dental questions, you know. I still work in a dental office twice a week at the most because I do tutor full time. Um, I do teach um, full time because that's my true passion is to help people learn and to just talk about people the importance of your oral health. So this is the patient edition file where I want to talk to you guys about why it's so important to talk to your patients or if you are a patient and you haven't had your teeth cleaned in a long time. It could be two years, it could be 10 years, it could be 20 years. You might be age 25 and you might be thinking, okay, I can't afford to have my teeth cleaned now because I don't have insurance. But I am here to talk to you guys about why it is so important. And this isn't from a dental professional perspective entirely. This is from a real person. You know, I, I am not just a dental professional, but I am a real person. I don't own my own dental office. So you know me telling you this isn't to make me money. This is to honestly help you out. Um, and as I said, if you guys have any questions, please let me know because we have all been there and done that. I was a student too where, you know, yes, I wanted my teeth cleaned, but to spend $100 or more to get my teeth cleaned, I just simply couldn't afford it. That um, money I would prefer to spend on, you know, food or printer supplies for my school program, or paper, or a new printer because mine happened to break, you know, things like that. So I do completely understand that. But why it's so important to have your teeth cleaned is because there's only so much that you are able to do your own cleaning at home. So if you're a patient watching this, let me sort of explain this a little bit here. So anytime you eat or drink anything, plaque forms on the teeth right away. It doesn't matter what it is. So that thin white film, sometimes um, yellow film that you might see and you're able to kind of take off, that is called plaque. So plaque is all that pretty much is, is a mix of, of your saliva, of your proteins in saliva and bacteria. So that is bacteria in the mouth. So nobody wants that. But the good news is though, if you brush twice a day, even three times a day for two minutes every single time, and if you use the floss every single day, that plaque doesn't have a chance to um, build up too much, okay? Because plaque is pretty thin initially. So if you're able to clean it off properly by using your toothbrush twice a day and um, flossing every day, then that plaque doesn't have a chance to become too thick. But if you're leaving it on there, then it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And that's why we say to brush every morning and every night. It's not because of the heck of it. It's 
it's because we don't brush perfectly every single time. So even if you're only brushing in the morning, you're not brushing perfectly. So you're probably missing some spots. So at least at nighttime, you're um, using your toothbrush again, and then any areas you, you may have missed the first time, you will probably get the second time. So a lot of people ask me, well, I only have time to brush in the morning, or I only have time to brush in the evening. Is that still okay? No, it's not. Take two minutes out of your day and make sure to brush every morning and every night. I also brush after lunch because I'm eating. So plaque is, you know, um, forming right away, right? But you don't have to brush at, at um, um, lunchtime or after lunch. But that's what I do because I like clean teeth. You know, I don't want to smile and have food stuck in there. Or I don't want to smile and, and think to myself, oh, my teeth are starting to turn yellow. Um, and I'll save that video for another day. But if your teeth look yellow, it's probably because plaque has, has been sitting there for too long and then it starts to um, um, actually change the color of your enamel. But that's another video for another day. So um, anyways, where, where was I here? So I'm talking about plaque. So plaque, you can brush off. But here's the thing. If you're not using your toothbrush enough, or you're not cleaning your, your, your teeth thoroughly, plaque forms into tartar. So we call it tartar or um, calculus. So you might have heard them used um, two different ways by your um, dental assistant, your dental hygienist. So um, calculus or tartar. So that is that hard stuff that you cannot take off with your toothbrush. So as soon as plaque becomes hard, and that takes 24 hours sometimes for some people it could be 24 hours to 72 hours mine literally becomes hard in about 24 hours literally um so it's kind of nice that i'm a dental hygienist because i can clean my own teeth if i see like a little spot here or there but don't try that at home because you can hurt yourself but so um, plaque, if left on too long, becomes calculus, also known as tartar. That you cannot take off with your toothbrush. So that's why you have to see us, your lovely dental hygienist, to take that off for you. Because if you leave that there, tartar forms more plaque on top of that. And then more plaque forms more tartar. And that's what stains your teeth, you guys. That's what stains your teeth. I have my teeth cleaned every four months because that just helps me. Those who come every six months probably should be coming every four months if you get a lot of plaque and, and um, tartar. Some people just tend to, their plaque likes to stick to their teeth and then they form tartar. And another thing is too, the more plaque you have, means the more tartar you will have, means the more plaque, which means you could get cavities and nobody wants cavities. So even if you think you are cleaning perfectly at home, you still need to see the dentist because you can't take away tartar and that can form cavities, especially in between the teeth. So even if you haven't had your, your teeth cleaned for a long time, say it's been 10 years, don't worry. We see people like that all the time. We totally understand that you might be a little bit nervous. You might be thinking, okay, I haven't had my teeth cleaned in 10 years. Is this going to hurt? Are they going to yell at me? Don't think about that. It will not hurt um, depending on how much plaque or tartar you have. But the nice thing is, you guys, is that if it's been 10 years, let's say, since we last saw you and you're worried about things being uncomfortable as we are cleaning in there, we have lots of things to make you more comfortable. We have topical anesthetic that can help to numb everything so you don't feel anything. If you need something a little more intense, for lack of a better word, there's local um, um, anesthetic also. So if topical is not enough for you, we can numb everything even further so you don't feel a thing. Um, topical, you still feel a little bit, but not nearly as much. With the local, you feel nothing. You feel us working in there so you know what we're doing, but you feel nothing. So if that is something you, you need, that is okay. We see people like that all day, every day. We will not yell at you. 
Okay, that just does not happen. We are so happy to see you because we know you care about your teeth and, and your oral health. Because unfortunately, the more time you sort of put off, things can happen. That is when teeth become sore because there is such, such a thing as having too much plaque and too much tartar it can make things sore. So don't let it get to that point. If you're watching this and you're thinking, well, my teeth are sore now, then it's time to see us because we can help you. Please come see us. We don't care how long it's been. We don't care how you know old you, you are. That is okay. Come see us so we can have a look at everything. And if you don't have insurance, that is okay too. Let us know and then hopefully we should be able to work out a um, payment plan of some kind because we know that you are probably thinking, well, I don't have insurance, I don't have the money, so I'll just wait until I have the money. Don't wait, come in to see us and we will do everything that we possibly can. So um, just a quick recap. So plaque forms right away that you can um, clean off yourself at home by brushing and using the floss. But as soon as plaque hardens, which it always happens for even those who think they clean their, their teeth perfectly, okay? Plaque does harden at some point and that forms tartar. That you can't take off at home. You need some pretty special instruments to um, take that off for you. So that's where we can help. So come see us for, for us to, to um, clean your teeth for you. Um, if it's been, you know, two years, 10 years, it doesn't matter. We don't care. Come in to see us because we want to help. If you're worried of things being a little bit uncomfortable because it's been such a long time, or if you're thinking, well, I don't want things to hurt, just let us know. We have lots of options for you. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. If there's any new um, dental assistants um, watching this or um, anybody new in the dental profession, if you have any questions, please let me know because I am so happy to help. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next um, video. See you soon.